All right, guys and girls, this is Jenningham here. How weird to stop the zombie apocalypse. This is four years ago video in 2020, but now so we're going to be showing you this video. Some people may like this, some people may think it's interesting, some people may have seen the video before. But we're going to bring it back to light again. It's always nice to look at old videos and different videos. Some people like that sort of thing, some people don't. Some people prefer different new videos on the on the, the um, router or on the go, but anyway. <laughs> The disease, the infection, the problem somehow gets noticed, usually by that proverbial astute clinician somewhere who notices something unusual. So if there's an outbreak of zombies, hopefully we'll survive long enough to be able to report this. Then what epidemiologists do is really try to understand the pattern by which, in the case of zombies, this condition spreads. So you try to track it back to the earlier cases. We call that contact tracing, almost like a detective or a historian. So you try to identify, in essence, the social network through which they might have gotten it and worked backwards there. She went through customs in Chicago at 11.15 a.m. Any idea what she did in Chicago during that layover? Did she have meetings? The other thing is to look at those larger patterns to try to understand if there are reasons they occur and ways in which they occur that we can intervene to stop them. Maybe you could prevent the infection from gaining a foothold there by making the environment less conducive treat people and the others they may be in contact with, prevent them from becoming zombies, uh, you know, if there's some way to do that, if there's some brain infusion that, that you can give to people to immunize them against zombies, and I'm totally hypothetical. But certain types of immunizations can protect against disease very effectively to the extent we always take them for granted now and, and sometimes think that we don't need them, but we do. So you can not only try to trace where the diseases are coming from and uh, how they are transmitted, but also look at some of the factors that may be turning people into zombies and, and can you act to prevent this from happening in the future. Wow. I hope you all enjoyed that, guys and girls. That video was four years ago, but now in 2021. Gives you some kind of light. It could be working like that or it could happen like this. But anyway, thank you, Jeremy. Peace.